Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Where last time, we finished building our first prestigious university. So now with our liberal arts campus done, we can start work on our trade school campus and unlock all of the buildings for it. So without further ado, let's get started. And you might be noticing, there's a new district. Universe City. <laughs> now is that literally the worst pun imaginable? Yes. But is it also going to stay that way? Also yes. It's too good guys, I'm sorry. But we will need a name for our trade school campus, so let me know any suggestions in the comments below. Anyway, getting to work on things, number one is this highway entrance and exit is not going to do. So I'm just going to quickly revamp this into something like our other one. Okay, there we go. Just need to tidy it up so that people coming from this direction could actually get into the university area. Whereas before, it's like either you're entering through this way to get in, or you're not getting in. <laughs> so now you can actually enter and leave this area from both directions of the highway, making this actually a functional interchange. Wow! But with that out of the way, we can actually start work on our new college campus here. And number one is we are going to switch the direction of the main building here. So the sun is off in this direction. So I want the front of the building to be nice and bright, meaning this gotta go. And this can be switched over to there. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Excellent. This kind of looks like a diamond, eh? I never really noticed that. That's really nice. Didn't even plan it out that way. Cool beans. Also though, with the roads, there are a little paths just going beside the university building. So we are going to use some roads here to kind of take advantage of the paths. Because when you put an intersection in, it adds little pathways for people to cross the street. And it kind of works with the paths attached to the university. So it just makes things a little more efficient that way, having the roads there. And it leaves a nice little area for us to put like a central kind of park. But speaking of roads actually, we do kind of need to plan things out. Aside from like the middle diamond we have, nothing else is really working out too well. So I guess we'll start with the highway entrance and exit. And to put it simply, I just really want this out of the way. So I've just done something like this, where I have the highway exit kind of skirting over here to the side of the hill. And then we can extend this all the way down here, if we so choose. So we can have like a million different ways to get onto the highway. Because all we need to do, hook up a road, and they're out of here. Then with the entrance, I have it coming down this way. And not sure where exactly to go with it, but I got a plan. So we have this main road coming down here. And you know what we can do is we can just have it curve onto this and continue that way. Look at that. That's our new main road. So we can upgrade this easily enough. We have this building already flipped around. So this is kind of like a back end road. We can cover this one by one tile with trees. And it's perfect. It's actually like perfect. This was never actually like the initial plan either just happens to work out just this well. And then we connect that up to here. Just bring this all the way forward. It can go down into the next university district. Like, what a perfect main road design, man. So with our main road there then, our highway entrance is gonna be a little spooky. Bringing it this close to the main road, I don't think it's the best plan. So we're gonna dial it back a bit. We're going to raise it over this road now instead. Slightly curve it here, bring it down. And then we're gonna make like a little intersection for it, essentially. We'll have a one-way street going on to the main road and another one-way going just to the exit, I suppose. Kinda just works out that way. And then we'll just make another road that goes straight into the university area. And I think that will work out. Good! And we have plenty of room in here in case we want to make another highway exit. Good, good, good. 
meaning we can get started on the actual university campus now. So, liberal arts, check, done. University campus area. Which one is this? Oh, that's for this one over here. We need the trades one. Oh, that's right here. It's at the beginning. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what's kind of like the deal with this? How does this actually even look? Let's kind of see the buildings we have to work with. Because we checked them all out when the DLC first came out, but I kind of forgot. Oh, now I remember. It's kind of like the prison camp kind of look. <laughs> At least that's how I describe it. Alright, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, that kind of works out, actually, because we're going to be making this area very grid-like and organized. Kind of like a prison? Not exactly like a prison. But definitely with a lot more straight lines and things of this nature. So I'm just trying to kind of figure out the road pattern. Just bring this over here. Just trying to make big spaces which we can fill with all the campus things. Have this go over there. Trying to follow the mountain as well. This road's coming over this way, so another easy way to get from the highway into the campus. And then if we have the highway coming in here, we can make this into something of a roundabout? So something like this could work, but I have a feeling it's going to be an absolute traffic disaster. So I've kind of cut the bottom of the diamond here, and instead, this is just going to be another road going down this way. So then, I have one little entrance there, that's going to be a one-way, and we're going to turn this middle square into a roundabout, just to keep traffic flowing through here. There we go. Very well engineered. And looking at things, that looks like pretty much our entire road layout. Now we can just start in adding buildings. And the first thing I want to plop down though, is our police academy. Because every campus area has three unique buildings that improve like your entire city. So there's the police academy for the trade school, the school of tourism and travel, and a school of engineering. And these buildings are essentially like campuses on their own. So I just want to have them kind of dealt with and organized. Oh, and you know what? Instead of having it up here, we could have it down here by the highway. Because this kind of has like a hill on its own and then a second level down here. And you know, this level could be for all the unique schools. There's tons of space, it's not really part of the campus. Yeah, you know what? What a good idea that could be, eh? But with that done, I think that's enough room for the police academy. Of course it is. And we don't have to attach it to the road, we can just attach it to a path. So let's just get a really temporary path in here. Sure, this one. Just to make ourselves a straight line across. Are we gonna be cool here? Sure, I can fix that up in a moment. And then, there we go. Please don't mess with the hill. Oh yeah, I didn't mess with the hill too much. So then this will be perfect. So I just dabbled with the roads a little bit more and kind of continued the curve we got going here. It'll be a little weird over here, a little weird over there, but we'll connect that up later. Just wanted to make the space for the unique schools. And you know, this police academy design also looks really cool. It got like the modern part on the front here, has the wood trim on the outside. Yeah, that's a cool design. Solar panels? Not bad, not bad. That's a nice building. But now it's time for the uh, not so nice buildings. Oh, the dormitories and things of that nature. So, uh, yeah. Prison buildings, let's go. The dormitories, I think will end up being over in this square here. It's like such a perfect square here. Uh, it, it's screaming like it should be used for dormitories. Screaming it. And it's going to be closer to kind of like the mini town over here. Yeah. This is just going to work out way too well. Huh, well actually on a good note, it didn't work out super well. It did for a bit, but then we have this highway exit over here. And it kind of messed with the hill just a little bit. So I had to curve in the road. But, you know... Maybe it's for the best that it didn't work out perfectly. Now we can do some interesting things over here. 
like adding in a parking lot, number one, or if this doesn't work out too well, we could add in like a fountain, or there's like really a million other things we could do. But of course, a parking lot would be the most handy. Yeah, indeed, the most handy. So it could be facing this way. How does that look? That is not a parking lot. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not blind, you're blind. Okay, so we could have a parking lot like this. Ooh, we could have two. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Is this actually gonna work out like too perfectly? Wait, so if I add in a road here and get rid of this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see what's happening? Do you see the future? Please. Please. Please! Oh my gosh. For a second, I thought, like, a new dormitory would fit in sideways there. It actually would have been too perfect. I would have been upset. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't though, so let's get rid of these then. We'll keep the road. I think that could work out. Don't do that. Hey, hey, don't do that. I will make you work. I have the tools to bend reality. The move it mod is my infinity gauntlet, okay? Don't even try me. Okay, so that works out a little bit better here. And now, let's make another path going down over here. These buildings are six tiles, are six squares wide, so three, six. There we go. And we can build another dormitory over here. Not one over there. Okay. My idea was just to have the back of the building facing the parking lots, but it's not... It's kind of still weird, eh? What if we did this? I've tried to shift everything around, so now the parking lot could be like a centerpiece. Is that gonna work out? Maybe? Kind of? It does work out, but then there's like this extra green space. Ah. Oh. Hmm. You know what? We don't need to focus on this for now. I think that's a good starting design, and then once we unlock more new things, we can decide what to put in the middle there a little later. So we still have many, many more things to build. Like study halls. Kind of important. And I think they can be right next to the admin building. Depending on how they look. Wow. Okay, we're not doing that? <laughs> we're gonna have those by the dormitory. Probably a bit better here. Oh yeah. That looks downright pleasant. Not bad at all. Just snuck in a little path through here too. It's all good. Also, this is a weird thing with these buildings, but apparently this is the front. Even though it looks like this should be the front, right? I don't know. I've kind of tried to design it in a way where this is treated like the front though. And it looks pretty good. And now we have a nice little square in here. You know what would be perfect? A library. Do we have a library? No, but we'll unlock it soon. Okay, well then for now, let's put a groundskeeping building in here. Just throw it off into the corner. A book club? Well that would be perfect near a library, but we don't have it yet. So, oh, why can't I sneak it in there? Wait a second. Why can't I sneak it in there? There we go, and with the power of the move it mod, we can have it there. Then I just switch out the path for a non-tree one, and we're good to go. In fact, I'm switching out all these paths, just because I'm gonna fill out all the empty spaces with more trees. So it's a little redundant having all the trees on the paths as well. Okay, so that's a pretty good start. Sneak in a couple parking lots as well. And I think we're ready to let this thing rock and roll. So turn on the admin building. Check out our info. Attractiveness, very high. Good. Oh, actually, we might have a problem because this university <laughs> doesn't have any water. But no, the real problem is I'm not sure if we have enough university students to keep both campuses running. We are just at the precipice, it looks like. Well, that's a little scary. So over at our first university, Kibitz U, maybe we should try and lower the student capacity. 
I don't want to look at that. Where is... There it is. Students, capacity. We can lower this by like 200. So maybe we just shut some of these down. Yeah, so I shut down two of them and that should lower the students a little bit. Okay, and this one is getting a couple students too, so fantastic. Good to go there. So back to academic works then. Hospitality, IT, and engineering. Art artisanary? Is that how you pronounce that? Not sure. But we'll just give it a grant here. I'll get our academic works and we can level up. And also to attract students. We'll give them some free lunch. Oh, and I guess it also would be important to try and get the students over here. So let's bring a bus line over nice and quick. There we go, and I'll just go around these buildings and then back to the bus loop. Also, I'm not sure if I showed this actually, but I need this uh, little transit area just for our university, our universe city up on the mountains here. Where I have a monorail way down here in the main city. And then two cable cars that bring people up the mountain and to another huge bus station here. And this kind of sends people off over into this university, into this area, and now into our new campus here. Anyway though, we just have to kind of wait a bit for this to level up and get new buildings. So I'll get back to you then. Okay, so new year, new level. You better believe it. We are now a recognized university. Very good, very good. 651 students. We have our academic works. And of course, we have a bunch of new buildings. That gymnasium looks amazing. Then uh, outdoor study, fountain, and cafeteria. So very, very much so like the other university we made. Like actually, I think the unlocks are the same. Like cafeteria, all at level one. It's pretty much what we got here, right? Yep, gym, cafeteria, outdoor study. So all the unlocks are the same. This, the buildings are retextured. And I guess later on, though, we'll get some more unique things, right? Of course. But moving along here, I do want to get the gymnasium kind of somewhere out of the way. Probably and preferably next to the highway here. And it just so barely snugly fits between the highway and the road there. Oh, but also, check that out. It has a cool little curve on the side there. You know, that would look a lot better on like one of the edges. Because then it would be flush with the design on here. So maybe not in the diamond, but maybe if we had it in here? That could be pretty neat. Oh my gosh, that would be extremely neat! Just have to use the move it mod to get it into the right place though. Oh yeah, that is exactly what we're gonna do. That is fantastic. Now it makes the corner kind of like something relatively special. And if we decorate the other side just a bit more, that'll be a neat little spot. But also we have the outdoor study. And here's the crazy dream. What if it fits right in here? <laughs> uh, the crazy dream. Oh my god, this thing is massive. Why? What? Okay, well, definitely not fitting in there. Could fit in here beside our admin building. Uh, like, I, it could. But like, is it just me or is that hideous? Why, it's, it's like, lazily done, in my opinion. Like pretty much normal pass, just like a little square of texture and yeah, honestly, that's just a terrible asset. I'm just not even gonna use that one. Don't like it at all. Ooh, but you know what doesn't look terrible? This fountain. That. Yep, I am extremely pleased with that. Let's actually even, I want even two of them. Yeah, we're gonna have one over here, and we're gonna have another just across. Okay, well that makes up for it. Very pleased with that. And also, you know, I have a park that also kind of fits the black square theme. And this one here. Oh my goodness, it was like meant to be. We have the cool modern art that looks similar, and then we have the main square right there. Oh, that is freaking crazy, man. So futuristic. It's kind of weird being juxtaposed against the admin building, which kind of looks like, I don't know, 1940s kind of architecture? I don't know. 
I guess it's a mix of the old and the new. Regardless of anything, though, we're keeping it like that. And then I think we unlocked one more thing, the cafeteria. Yeah. Now can we squeeze that in here? Oh, are you, ki are you kidding me? We're gonna make this work. Yep, yeah, that is the absolute perfect place for that. So now in between all of the dormitories, there's the cafeteria in the middle. Because obviously everyone's gonna be too lazy to make their own food, so they'll just go to the calf. Easy. Done. GG. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. While we're waiting for this to level up, why don't we give it a sports team? So for the liberal arts campus, we gave them the aquatic center. We could give these guys the basketball arena. Or... No, I think the basketball arena would be perfect, actually. And you know, I think the perfect place for it is right in here. Like, we'd switch it around, we'd make room with the roads. But, yeah, we have our highway entrance here, exit there. So I'm gonna try and do that then. Yeah, just got everything out of the way. There goes the basketball place, and... Now I just have to move this highway entrance just a little bit forward. So it connects right to in front of the center now. We continue this street forward as well. And it will just scoot right on out of here. So they stop here and then they go. And we are not going to attach it to the main road. We'll attach it over here. Like, kind of out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to attach it right here because that could lead to a lot of traffic problems. Because these things... They attract a lot of people, obviously, because basketball is a pretty crazy sport. And we don't want the area to get too backed up. And on that note, we probably want this to be a one-way as well. And I think that makes everything good. Okay, now our university has its own sports team, its own basketball team. And we get to go mess with the varsity sports. So cheerleaders, you better believe it. Coaches... We'll give him five. And then team identity, the Buccaneers. I like the Buccaneers. I even like the color that it is right now. Yeah, we're gonna stick with that. Well then, Varsity Sports really helped out the university. We are now over 1,000 students, which is just crazy. Attractiveness, 840. All we need is two academic works, and then we're leveled up. So did we get them? Yes, we did. All right, so we have a total of five, meaning we are now renowned. Excellent. Giving us a new statue, an IT club, library, and the School of Tourism and Travel. Oh, and the commencement office, of course. <laughs> Wait, what? What did our grant fund? Colossal swag. <laughs> wow, that is the exceptional use of grant money. However, though, that gives us a ton more to work with, so let's get started. Obviously, number one is the commencement thing. One of the most important buildings of the entire trade school. Does, would it just perfectly fit in there? No. Okay, that's fine. Where actually can we put this? Beside it? How does it look? Um, it looks like we should put it back here. So you know what? We're extending the hill a bit, and that's what we're gonna do. There we go. Now we just put that right back here. Good. And oh, wait, what am I thinking? There's the highway right there. So could we instead put it on this side? Oh, uh, we're cutting it close. Yeah, we cut it way too close. Okay. Oh, wait a second. We have a bit of room with this. What if we just move it forward a little bit? Does that mean we have enough room behind now to fit the commencement thing? Yes, it absolutely does mean that. Okay, and fix the other side of the hill too. That's looking good. This is moved forward now, so it's actually on the front road. And it actually looks even better now. So I say that's a win all around. GGEZ. Now for the next thing, we have another statue. This one looks familiar. Is that just me? Um, okay, never mind. That does not look familiar. That looks incredible. That is easily my favorite statue so far. 
and it makes the perfect centerpiece for our dormitory area. So we have the cafeteria, statue in front, all the dorms all around it, gym right there, wow! Could not be better! Well actually, if we snuck an IT club right off in the corner here, then it would be perfect. And this is a crazy cool looking building. For an IT club? They have a freaking rooftop porch area? Kinda weird for a bunch of computer nerds to have the, you know, the lounging tanning chairs, but not gonna judge. It does make for an absolutely amazing corner piece to this area. But then that leaves the library. And the library... Oh, imagine if it just fit right in front there. No. The library is gonna go right next to the main building, I think. Let's see how it looks. Maybe not. Too square. Instead, we're gonna move them to, like, the outside of the diamond here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And it's closer to the dorms here, so it's, like, nice easy path. Right to the library if they need to be there. But also, we have a new school. The School of Tourism and Travel. Which increases the income from all commercial zones? Uh, okay. That's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. Where can we throw that? It's gonna be somewhere down here, of course, but... How does it even look? Yeah, you know what? That's what I should always do. Just plop it down to see what the heck we're dealing with. <laughs> oh my... What? That looks so cool. Look at the pillars. Oh, it even has like a sky bridge. And for such a pleasing building, we are going to have it in an extremely pleasing spot right over at the end here. And we can even make like its own little area just for it. So we can put the path out in front and throw a statue just in front of it too. And we'll clean it up a bit more as we unlock more buildings. Speaking of, we just leveled again, so now we do have more buildings. So we now have a auditorium, bookstore, and laboratories. Sponsorship deals are available. And also, we created an academic work called Virtually Healthy, a service platform that heals you at home covering the complete virtual healthcare chain. You know, that almost sounds like a meme, but seriously, I'd probably subscribe to that. Anyway, we have an auditorium to build, so let's see how this looks. We'll just place it over there. Sure, that makes sense. And... Who was designing these buildings? I I'll be honest, like... What is this supposed to be? Oh no, even the parking staggered? No, dude. Oh, yikes. Um, Not a fan of that one. Then we have laboratories. Okay, it's looking a bit better. And then a bookstore. The bookstore can go there for now. Labs are looking... Decent, has a bit of character, got the cool bridge. Generally speaking, pretty square. The bookstore actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Almost looks like a library. So we're gonna put the bookstore though over by the dormitories. So that's just gonna be right in there. Kind of near the entrance to the campus as well. Because this is a big money maker for the university. Needs to be in a very centralized location. And then, we have the laboratories. And I think I'm gonna put the lab down here. Now this is supposed to all be for like the specialized schools, but we're kind of running out of room up here. So we're just gonna let it, let it be. And then the auditoriums. Oh man. I guess we can try them out in front here, next to the admin building. Kinda looks alright. They're not bad when they're angled, I'll give it that. And we need something beside our admin building, so we'll leave it be for now. If we unlock something that's a little bit better, then we'll probably replace them. Anyway though, we only have one more tier to go, and then we can finish off the campus. And there it is guys, we now have our second prestigious university. And we've unlocked the School of Engineering, another statue, media lab, technology museum, and a volleyball club. Because that's what engineers want to do on their time off, is play volleyball. Don't ya know? Oh my sweet god though, that engineering school? That is a 
freaking amazing building. Absolutely amazing. Look at all the, the, the things, the bridges. Oh, these engineers have truly outdone themselves. Yeah, I really like this building. This is probably my favorite building in the entire university like collection here. Okay, well that one's fantastic. How are the others? We got the new statue. And then the volleyball thing. And the media lab. Yeah? Okay, volleyball thing looks like a little house. Statue looks like... Why? What? Tell me your secrets, Mask. Actually, I'd probably rather not know them. And then the Media Lab looks fantastic. Another great building. Yeah, these last couple buildings, 10 out of 10. Very pleased. But let's get them to appropriate locations. And our first and most important building to put down is the School of Engineering, because it increases all generic zoned industry income and reduces city water consumption and sewage outlet. Neat. Okay. Very cool, but where do we put it? I filled in a little bit of the area as well here. Uh, I knew there wouldn't be enough space in this spot for the new school, so I decided hey, I'll just fill in a few random things. So I did that off camera. So that's out of the option. And yeah, I don't think that would have fit. Oh my god, wait a second, would it actually have? Wait, would it? No. No! Well, no and yes. It would fit perfectly in there. Okay. But then all this was for nothing. Well, kind of my own fault. <laughs> I kind of guessed wrong on that one. So uh, goodbye to that whole area. That's totally fine. Honestly, I'm very happy we have a pretty decently simple spot to put this huge school. So we're just going to leave it there for now. I'll try and make some kind of like interesting thing in here. And then with this big empty space, we can put that media building. So where is it? There it is. Well, oh, that's even smaller than I thought. So we could just put that there. <laughs> Fix the terrain a bit because that uh, looks dangerous. How's that? It's decent. And we still have a bit of space to work with. Okay. Oh yeah, and I suppose I should put that volleyball thing somewhere. So I just made a square kind of off to the side. And there we go. Cool. <laughs> Do you want to play volleyball? You can play volleyball. Have fun with that, guys. And then as for the accursed statue too here, I'm not going to add that into the campus. That is just, um, too weird. Not a fan. Okay, though. Good news is this is now prestigious. So we have all the tools in the toolbox, meaning I can go through here with a fine-toothed comb and decorate everything and perfect it. All right. So I'll get back to you when it's all prettied up. And by prettied it up, I mean I just spam trees everywhere, as I usually do. No, no, no. JK. I did quite a bit, actually. Quite a few significant and really good changes. Most importantly is we have our admin building here. But I ended up just doing stuff across the street. It was looking too bare. And now it's more so like the admin building is a bit more centered instead of just on the edge of the campus. Makes it feel a lot better. So now we just have a few just normal stores here, more dormitories over the cliffside. And then, oh, this is actually really cool. So this is an intelligence agency. It's not part of the school, but it's a special building in the police tab. That gives us essentially the CIA. And now we can steal everyone's cell phone records and no one can have any more secrets and your privacy is now all mine. And I'd like to say JK, but that's kind of how it is with the CIA. Anyway though, aside from that, just continued on down the street, adding in little details here and there, paths everywhere, trees everywhere, little food courts and just chill out areas. Oh, and I guess this is kind of important. You know, our central square. <laughs> So I had that cool, like, square asset thing. That was like the giant modern square thing. But it only took up, like, this little bit. So instead, I just used two plazas, put them together, and now it's like one unified plaza. And also, it doesn't block out, like, the view of this from the other side. So that's not bad. And what's all this clapping? What? 
Oh, they're graduating! Oh! <laughs> Or they're just pleased with how well this all turned out. Like, look at that! Oh, that is so cool, actually. Oh! Anyway, though, I guess that is campus complete. So now we have two fully completed university campuses. And probably next time, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of work just all around the campuses. And then we'll save the final university for later because I just want to mix it up a little bit. Anyway though, that's gonna be all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any name suggestions for the campus, let me know. But thank you guys for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.